we start our journey on the Staffs and Worcester Canal just west of Birmingham. And we travel through Hyde Lock before mooring here in a beautiful location known as the Beaches, just near Kinber. We explore the amazing cave houses while we're here and then we travel on through nine locks, including bottom staircase locks, before ending our long journey today here at the Round Oak Pub. I love their gate that's actually a lot of gates. How fab's that? Good. Looking very tanned, Anthony. Well, the trees behind remind me of um, Twilight, the film. Oh, uh, not pine. is it Douglas Fair? When I say fur, I don't mean F U R, I mean F I R. It is my accent. Look at this for a stunning location. People have told us about this. This is the first time we've lit our diesel reflex ourselves, isn't it? Yep. And uh, a bit of a learning curve. We realised we hadn't put the chimney on, so the chimney cap was on, <laughs> mistake number one. Um, we turned this valve, is for the diesel. That's the diesel regulator. And that red button is what you press. Once you've had the fire lit for, was it a couple of minutes? two to three minutes yeah. and then once that glows red you press it again that so it usually takes about 10 minutes yeah there's a steel mesh inside isn't yeah. there and once that glows red you press that red button don't you yeah and we were worried because the flames were really high but they seem to be dying down now yeah, well it's not meant to be orange is it it's meant yeah. to be blue and yeah. there's only like a really tiny sort of mm. thing of orange mm. and that's de definitely reducing mm. but how warm is it yeah it's beautiful really nice and it feels more like a home now doesn't it because it's yeah. the first time we have lit the fire on this boat An absolutely beautiful morning we've woken up the sun's shining we've seen a kingfisher i'm heading down to kinver high street to the local shop with karen and tony off narrowboat for renzi and uh yeah we had a nice evening last night sat drinking chatting for hours realized i'd had no dinner <laughs> it's not done me any harm i feel like i'm on a fasting diet without planning it <laughs> Well, this is the high street, I think, in Kinver. I'm in coffee number five with Tony and Karen having a flat white, and it's one of the nicest flat whites I've had for a long time. Really recommend this place, very nice, and lovely looking cakes. Oh, I'm being good. Look at that, you could be in Canada. The rustle in his Dexter going through my carrier bag of shopping. Oh, he's got the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Little bugger. You don't miss anything, do you? Uh, how and is this? Tony and Karen having their boat service, but not today. Poor Ryan has to come back on Saturday. <laughs> This is Ryan from Oakham's. We've had problems with our second solar panel. What? I'm having problems with only half a couple of 
<laughs> that was a full froth of milk. You've left it that long. I haven't even touched it yet. I think I might give you my cup. It looks like it's got bite marks in it. I might give you my cup. Oh. Ryan's not complained that he's had Anthony to walk. Makes well, nicer cups of coffee than you. <laughs> Who does? Anthony. <laughs> oh, it's the same machine. Uh, Ryan's not complained because he's had to walk half a mile from his van. It is a long distance, but we love it here and we don't want to move for a week. So what would you say has happened to this solar panel? What's the technical term? Don't swear. <laughs> what do you think? No comment. <laughs> it's not scorched. What is it? Burnt. It's just burnt. I, I, I can't it's swear, arced. so I can't answer your question. Oh yeah, it's arced, hasn't it? We're heading down the towpath again and we're going into the village of Kinver. We really enjoyed it the other day. It was a long walk for Dexter, but we did stop for coffee and, uh, and well, yeah, I didn't have cake actually, that was very good. We did stop for coffee at the lovely coffee shop number five in the village. There are a few coffee shops. I think Anthony's hoping to get his hair cut today. I've got to go to the post office. Um, yeah, it's lovely here, but we think we're going to move on tomorrow because we need to be near a car park and yeah we need to crack on because lock eight going that way we're heading that way lock eight um was closed uh, the other day why they assessed it and now they said it's 26 days before it's going to be open again imagine if we'd have got stuck on the other side of that lock <laughs> Waiting for a table. Yes. It's both in handmade jewellery. Oh. Where are we up, Anthony? In the caves. Kimber, Kimber Cave, Cave houses, houses, yeah. Get to this way. Well, because we're moored in Kinver, everyone's told us you've got to go to the cave houses. So we're going to explore. We love stuff like this anyway. But yeah, apparently the views are really nice. Just collecting the coins. Oh yeah. Reckon I've done 5,000 steps already. What, for your cash app? Yeah. <laughs> I gave up. It's a waste of my time, I think. It's not. I've already got a five quid Amazon culture. <laughs> Spending 30 hours on your phone. Well, we got National Trust membership. Anthony got it because he wanted to use it so he could park his van at National Trust site. Um, we couldn't afford the joint membership. So I've just paid seven pounds to get in for an adult, which isn't bad at all. Well, we know the hot topic with boaters is toilets. Look at this one, just a bucket. Bit like a compost toilet really, isn't it? And some newspaper. For when you've finished. <laughs> it'll be fun when we get there. When we get there, it'll be fun. When we get there. Yeah, I love school. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I don't think I've noticed it's so lovely and cool in here. I'm guessing that's like a hot water bottle, I'm not 100% sure. Understandably, dogs aren't allowed inside the houses, but they're allowed around the rest of the property, the gardens and outside the cafe. You don't mind, do you, Dexter?
Kinver Edge is a 250 million year old sandstone escarpment with these cavernous cave houses carved into the rocks. People lived here for 400 years before finally leaving in the 1950s after being persuaded to give up the lives in the caves for council houses. Well, that was really interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. It's definitely worth a visit. Yeah. And especially the gentleman that was um, a descendant, his family he used to live in the cave houses, his parents and grandparents. Yeah. And so we had archives, paper yeah. archives, didn't we? Yeah. Um, his his grand, grandmother sat by the chair in the yeah. porch where you can actually see. Yeah, yeah, really interesting. And that was a Reeves family, and apparently you can find information on that it's family about YouTube, YouTube as well, yeah. isn't it? The Kimber, Kimber Rock Houses. Yeah. And can we also say a big thank you, because the staff have been brilliant, haven't they? Yeah, really friendly, really making lovely. sure Dexter had water and really yeah. nice and welcoming. So thank you very yeah. much. How oh, nice does the boat look? You staying with me, Dexter? Come on then. It's a nice sight, isn't it? To the end of our long walk. <laughs> Come on then. Well, it's our last day at Kinver. Second attempt at filming. Forgot to press record before. And we thought it was about time Dexter had a groom. We find it really difficult booking in at a groomers along the canals because they get booked up months in advance. And he's very patient, isn't he? Yeah. Not like you, Anthony. Mm, I've got the patience to say it living with you. <laughs> you dropped on with me. Whatever. doing well although the boat's only three months old coming up to four months old uh, I think it's a brum base you get more scrapes I'm not quite sure but we're just painting the black in give it a, a new fresh look you'd never do this to a new car would you Are you sure this isn't an excuse for your poor tiller handling <laughs> oh yours <laughs> Just after this bridge and to the right is the Birmingham Canal and we're going to carry on towards Wolverhampton. Yeah, I shall swing the camera around so you can see. If we're to turn right, there are the locks heading towards Birmingham. There's a sign as well. Yeah, there's a sign. You may be wondering why we're not at Kinver. Yesterday, you moved the boat on your own, didn't you? I did. So with um, um, with the help of Karen, uh, Karen and Tony on Forenzi. So they um, they did the lock. For, there was only one lock, but uh, yeah, they did the lock for me. Yeah, and a tunnel. It was a really long tunnel, wasn't it? 25, 25 yards. 25 yards. <laughs> but it, it was only about a mile, wasn't it, I think, from yeah. Kinver. I didn't which... even have time to put the navigation lights on, because by the time yeah. like, I would have run down, I was through the tunnel. Yeah. So. So Anthony stopped with ta uh, Karen and Tony a stew pony lock, which we say is back, which I say in about a mile. Can't speak today, which is about a mile from Kinber by the beaches. And I was out doing a show all day. I'm gonna have to knock the shows on the head. I don't it's think just so. too You'd far. Be to You'll be back up north soon. Uh, yeah, but we love it here. All the sandstone that you can see as we're going through the canals really lush, like Anthony was saying earlier. But Kinber, one of our favourite places. We loved the village, the coffee shops, the little alleyway that you walk down. It was like something off Harry Potter. Yeah, it was really nice. Quaint shops. And everyone was really pleasant. Yeah, really friendly people. And yeah, the caves, it's a National Trust property, uh, Kinber Edge Caves, cave houses. Uh, but the guy we were talking to, it was his descendants who used to live in those cave houses. His, his parents and his grandparents and his great grandparents. It was really nice chatting to him, it wasn't was, it? Yeah. Obviously very knowledgeable and very passionate. Uh, so yeah, that was well worth a visit. I think it's seven pounds for adults if you're not a National Trust member. Uh, you were saying earlier about the cyclists. They were flying along that towpath, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. I just, I just think people need to be aware of other towpath users. 
So, you know, there's people with kids, like elderly people, people with dogs, and they just don't slow down. It's uh, to be fair, some. Well, so actually, yeah, but... I'm not tiring everybody because no, no. we're saying this because I I have a bike, but I always slow down. I always make people aware that I'm on the towpath. Some of them don't even have a bell. Tony was saying that somebody yelled at him. Yeah. Um, and to he said I couldn't way. I couldn't hear you, and he said well, he said you need to use your ears, and Tony's like well you need to use a bell. <laughs> So, but we're not going to we're not going to get into a hot debate about cyclists no, and towpath uh, use. There's a place for everybody. Yeah. Towpath is for everybody, but I think people just need to be mindful mm. rather than this just sort of entitled attitude that everybody seems to have. Like, oh. even some you know boaters can have it, fishermen can have it. I just think we all need to share this lovely environment. We've no idea where we're heading today. Um, Greens Forge, well, we may rough stop idea. at. Yeah, well, Greens Forge. You know, we're going north. Uh, but we are getting closer to the northwest. Are we 60 miles from the Shroppy now? Uh, yes, less than that. Like 63 miles from Middlewich. Oh, we're going over the aqueduct. Going over the River Stour. This is beautiful. I love all the sands though. This is really nice along here. We were told it was nice, but it's very, very nice. Cyclists coming up behind you. Well, Anthony's off to set the lock and I'm at the tiller. This makes a very nice change. Oh, it's such a gorgeous day. I'm liking that Anthony's back into his fitness regime because it means he's doing more locks and more walking and more cycling. I'm just gonna get bigger, aren't I? You're being extra careful because you've just done the blacking. Well, this beautiful house and garden is open every Saturday. It's called John's Garden, access via Ashwood Nurseries. That's beautiful, isn't it? That is stunning. That's like your dream garden, that isn't it? How oh, very lucky. Long, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, the cauliflowers. Just in front of us is Ashwood Marina. That looks nice. Uh, we're going to keep to the left here. We couldn't believe this couple were fishing on the lock landing. Not only that, there's a sign nearby saying no fishing, live overhead cables. I did warn them about the cables, but they didn't seem bothered. That was smooth. <laughs> Just ahead is the service point at Greens Forge, so we decided to get rid of our rubbish and fill with water. We've always been told, never pass a water point. Yeah.
Our water tank is around 880 litres, which is fantastic, but the downside is it seems to take forever to fill. We always run some fresh water through the hose pipe just a minute or so before we put it into the tank, just in case there's any settled sediment. This is yeah. This is Greens Forge, Forge is it? Yeah. yeah. This is Greens Forge. Right. But if not, we'll keep going. Yeah. I can stay on now though, can't I? Keep going. <laughs> After a quick lunch on the boat, we decided to carry on. These staircase locks are really intimidating, they look absolutely massive and I really wouldn't like to do these on my own. All the paddles are up, the boat's gone up gently because we took our time, as you saw. Uh, Anthony said he's just waiting for the pressure so he can open that gate and let me into the neck lock. You did keep saying about the weather, but it is beautiful. Well, it's been a long day, hasn't it? So, yeah. feel like we need a drink. I absolutely feel like we need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Glass of cider with ice. It's been a long day, it's been very, very warm for the time of year. Um, <coughs> we think, we're not going to get as far as Bratch tonight, we don't think, do we? I'm not far, I have no idea how far it is, but we're not stopping here because there's a bit of graffiti on that bridge. Oh yes. It's probably a nice mooring, but yeah. it's, it's not, sort of alarm bells ring. Yeah. We'll have a quick drink and then we're going to move on. In the dark, we'll have to be a quick drink, <laughs> come on then. You having a drink, Dexter? <laughs> like your dad when you're having a drink of water. Like you, the cider. Do you feel better now you've had a drink? I think I needed it just to calm down. <laughs> yeah, I feel better now. You, we've had a we've had a few problems with the bow and stern thruster. We're not sure what's causing it, but uh, <coughs> it's not the first time. Uh, I'm starting to lose my sense of humour. <laughs> which isn't like Anthony. I'm sure it'll get sorted and we'll laugh about it in a, a week or so, Anthony. Oh yeah, we? yeah I, I can already feel my sides splitting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a nice drink at the pub. They were really friendly staff. That's yeah. the wagon and horse, isn't it? It was. Yeah, and very dog friendly. Lovely staff, brought a bowl of water for Dexter. So a big thank you to the staff there. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Didn't try the food. It did smell nice though. Yeah, just had a packet of crisps and a packet of peanuts. Yeah. That's See, that's it. Get stress paid. eating. What will get paid? Peanuts. <laughs> stress eating. Uh, we're just going to carry on cruising. It's a lot darker than it looks on camera. It is now 7:49 p.m. Yeah, we're not going too far though, are we? Because um, no, we've spotted. We just about half an hour or so. <clears throat> it was quite a noisy road. There's like re overhead pylons. Yeah, it's not like the prettiest mooring. No. Um, so we're just hoping for something a bit nicer further up. Yeah. And that's a nice thing, we don't have to worry about the van, we can moor wherever we like, can't we? Yeah, we don't need that till Tuesday, so yeah. I'll probably go and collect it tomorrow actually. But <gasps> it's a long way to go back though, Anthony, I think. I'm on my fitness kick. Oh yeah, good. Ah, Well, we were hoping for some early evening bird song, so we should turn the camera around and see what we pick up. I keep doing this, I don't know what that's about. 
Tell me two tums. Yeah. You enjoyed your drink, didn't you, lad? You're too busy watching the scenery. Yes. Horse and a donkey, how beautiful. This is very overgrown. The bridge coming up now is called Giggity Bridge. What a brilliant name that is! Oh, well, the sky is looking amazing behind us. I think we're going to start cruising early mornings or late evenings, none of this midday sunlight. I think it'll be late evenings, I don't do early mornings. I think we should. Less than work. Early to bed, early to rise, Anthony. What's the rest of the scene? Makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Is it? What's happened to us? I know, because we don't go to early to bed oh, and early it. to rise. Let us know in the comments below. Are you a night owl or a morning person? I'm definitely a night owl. And I'm a morning person. Doesn't have cause friction because I get up at quarter to seven in the morning and Anthony's lying in till half past nine, ten hey. o'clock. But then it gets to nine o'clock at night and I'm dozing off in front of the TV and Yay. you want to stay up watching films. But that just means I can watch what I like because I'm asleep. He just watch some rubbish. <laughs> he talks some rubbish. <laughs> had a drink, have we? Just the one. He's had yeah. a drink. Oh, where are you going? Avoiding that big tree there. Oh. I'll just see. I think we need to do something with this tiller. Sounds like there's an elastic band wrapped around it. It does. Maybe. Oh. I hope we don't have to put pins in. That's the only downside of mowing in the evening. Oh. To read it. It's a robin. Is it? And a common wood pigeon. We're phenomenally excited. Oh. That doesn't sound like a robin. No, the first one did. I don't think it's done that again though. This isn't what I expected along this canal at all, is it you? Um, to be fair, I didn't expect like a new housing estate. No. I was more expected it to be, because it's been so <coughs> overgrown and well established mm. houses, I didn't expect a new estate. Just like it on the head. Who loves nosing into people's houses? Oh, yeah, it's people fabulous. sat there with the lights on. Somebody in the bedroom office typing away. What were they doing? Typing away. <laughs> Somebody got a 50 inch TV in the lounge there watching something. We could just save electricity and watch those. We could. It was starting to get dark and we were really tired, it had been a long day, so we decided to moor here by the Round Oak pub. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, it is completely free and it really does help out the channel. Keep your comments coming and see you next week.